<laughs> Dr. Sutton, uh, I got a question here from a viewer having to do with ear infections. Uh, how can I prevent my child from getting recurring ear infections? Yeah, so ear infections is probably one of the most common things I treat with my pediatric patients. Often parents coming in with their toddler screaming, crying, sometimes a low-grade fever with an earache. And I have to say that many people don't realize this. The American Academy of Pediatrics suggests that we often do a wait-and-see approach for isolated ear infections. Withholding antibiotics as long as the child doesn't develop a high fever over 102 and as long as the symptoms are not limited or limited to two days. But recurrent ear infections can become a problem and they can cause permanent injury to the child. So we focus on treating those. And I also explain to parents, we have to do an investigation when a child has a recurrent ear infection. Is it doing an, an, an obstruction in their ear? Is it a resistant bacteria? Or the most common thing, uh, sinusitis or allergies. Yeah. Uh, many people don't realize, but that can increase the risk of ear infections, causing obstruction in our ears and increasing the risk of infection. Mm. All right. And uh, your prescription for wellness, yes. Dr. Sutton, has to do with hiking? Yes. We were talking about this before the show started. Yes, so I, I feel love like this hiking. Is, uh, it's one and, of my favorite pastimes. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll wait at the bottom for you. Um, but what I would say is that when you pack your bag, there are some things that I would always recommend because I'm constantly treating patients who get injured during hikes. And there are some things that I would bring with me if I were to go on a hike with if, you. If you were to go. It's a big if. Um, so folks, first of all, bottled water. Uh, number one, remaining hydrated, but also using clean water as a form of, of cleaning, especially if you get a cut or a wound. Um, protecting your skin if you get a burn, petroleum jelly or aloe vera. Also, eye wash. Uh, it's some, it's one thing that I think is uh, underutilized. Many people don't realize foreign bodies always happen in the eye or constantly happen, especially on a windy day. And having a clean uh, eye wash will allow you to get that out. Disposable gloves, especially if you're helping someone or, or traveling with someone. Uh, scissors is really important because you can cut your fabric and use it as a makeshift sling. Oh. Tweezers, that's one of the things that I always bring with me because you can help to remove ticks, but also splinters. Uh, tweezers can be so helpful antibiotic ointment to cover those wounds if you get cut and then something that people don't realize is really beneficial super glue uh, for small cuts super glue can be quite beneficial in emergencies and for bigger cuts I'd grab duct tape um, and <laughs> I always tell people you have to think about these things because oftentimes when you're out there in the wilderness you don't have anything with you and having these small or, or a few of these things can really be beneficial and protect you against the elements you listed maybe up to 10 things how many of those are in your kit uh, when you go hiking? almost not so <laughs> yes uh, those are all I'm gonna be writing those down thank you very much for that and I'll you pack can your bag for you yeah okay all right <laughs> we can team play that one all right let's go uh, and submit medical questions to us right here at ABC GMA 3 Dr. Darian has all the answers for you even next week, right? Absolutely. Be here all week. week. Yeah. All right. Oh, great. Yeah. Exciting. All right. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.